Susan Marcassini. And I'm Christopher Lyons, and uh, we're the co-owners of Nganpani Om downtown. The name of the studio basically comes from Ganpati, which is one of the many names of Ganesh, the elephant god. Om, uh, that all-encompassing sound that we use to uh, make that resonating effect. And downtown, obviously, a uh, direct uh, connection to our core, which we're uh, very proud to be here. The physical part of yoga is simply one of eight limbs, so there's so many other parts to it, from meditation to breath work to kind of how you treat yourself and then how you treat the world around you. It's not just about, you know, what kind of crazy poses can you get into. Beginner and people that don't have a whole lot of range of motion, elderly people, people with injuries, we can adapt to almost anything. There's kind of like lessons that can be taught. And then on the side, we would also have those discussions. Not everybody comes here looking for that. So we try to like not push anything down anybody's throat, but kind of make it so that if they have questions or they have interest in it, they can kind of delve a little deeper. We love to see new faces and new energy and uh, share what we've experienced because it's actually a lifestyle for us. We really try to incorporate um, what we teach and that becomes experience and that's what we share. I've had Crohn's disease for 30 years and that's probably what drew me to yoga in the first place. Stress can be such a huge part, I think of any disease, but especially with Crohn's disease. And yoga was such a, a way to kind of alleviate stress for me. Everybody has a different experience when they come onto their mat. Some people it's just a physical thing, but some people like, there's a lot of emotional and mental healing that can happen in this type of space and it's a safe space.